Let's start with the fact that China is a country that impresses the world with its rapid and impressive development. Over the past decades, China has undergone tremendous changes, becoming one of the leading economic and technological powers in the world. In this country, people are actively investing in the construction of new cities, railways, highways, airports, and other infrastructure, which contributes to strengthening ties between different regions of the country and improving the quality of life of the population. Today, you will see the best and most interesting projects in China. The South North Water Transfer Project is an ambitious infrastructure project in China aimed at redistributing fresh water from the southern regions of the country to the north, where the lack of water resources is one of the main problems. This project was designed to provide water supply, irrigation, and drought mitigation in the northern regions of China. To implement the project, significant hydraulic structures were built, including canals, dams, and underground tunnels. These structures ensure the transfer of water over long distances and through a variety of territorial features. The Chapel of Sound is a concert hall in the form of a rock designed by the Chinese Open Architecture Studio. The project, located in a valley near the ruins of the Great Wall of China near Beijing, was completed last November. This is a real acoustic miracle in the rock style, which attracts tourists from all over the world to the region. The Shanghai Tower was completed in 2015 and became one of the tallest towers in the world. Its height is 632 meters. The design of the Shanghai Tower impresses with its modern and futuristic aesthetics. The outdoor area at the top of the tower, the Shanghai Sphere, offers spectacular views of the city and the surrounding countryside. The Shanghai Tower serves as a multifunctional complex, including office spaces, commercial areas, tourist attractions, and entertainment venues. Zhengzhou East Railway Station is an important intersection point for several high-speed railway lines. The station plays a key role in ensuring movement and trade between these major cities. Zhengzhou East Station is an example of China's desire to create a complex and extensive railway network supporting its rapid economic growth and urbanization. Ling'eng New City is a large-scale project to create a modern urban space in the southeast of Shanghai. It is conceived as an advanced, modern, and sustainable city aimed at innovation, technological progress, and economic growth. The development of Ling'eng New City includes the construction of modern infrastructure, such as efficient transportation systems, high-quality residential areas, educational institutions, and commercial sites. Environmentally oriented planning is integrated into the urban plan to ensure a balance between urbanization and environmental conservation. Beijing International Airport is the largest and one of the busiest airports in the world. It provides many international and domestic flights, which makes it a key point in the global aviation industry. At Beijing International Airport, you will find modern terminals, high-quality passenger areas, many shops, restaurants, and other amenities. Technological innovations are also integrated to ensure smooth travel. The Jinshan Nuclear Power Plant is a part of China's rapidly growing nuclear power industry, which aims to provide the country with electricity. It consists of several nuclear reactors that generate electricity through nuclear reactions. This power plant provides a significant amount of electricity for large cities and industrial complexes. This contributes to the development of the economy and meeting the demand for electricity.
inner city rail network in eastern Guangdong province connects various cities and towns in the region, which contributes to the economic development and improvement of transport infrastructure. This network allows you to travel between cities for relatively short distances on high-speed trains. The Shanghai Astronomical Museum was designed taking into account modern architectural trends and technologies. This museum is the largest astronomical museum in the world. Its area is 39,000 square meters. It is designed with three overlapping arcs that resemble structures found in orbit. The museum's exhibitions are designed to expand visitors' understanding of the universe and scientific discoveries. The Wandong Hydroelectric Power Station is one of the tallest in the world. Its height is 240 meters. There are 12 turbines with a capacity of 850 megawatts each. The total generating capacity is 10,200 megawatts. The Yangku Dam is a stone-filled dam with a concrete coating on the Yellow River in Xinghai County, Qinghai Province, China. The construction of the dam began in 2010, and the hydroelectric power plant with a capacity of 1,200 megawatts came into operation in 2016. It is located upstream from the Long Yangxia Dam. It took China just 10 years to build a city in the Tacoma Desert. Sand dunes have turned into a city with about 20,000 people living in front of our eyes. People move here from various cities in China, as there is an opportunity to extract oil here. Of course, living in the desert is not easy, there is almost no rain here, and in the summer, the temperature reaches 67 degrees Celsius. The largest telescope in the world is called the Tianyang. The name translates as Heavenly Eye. It is a huge recess in the ground with a smoothly rounded shape. The telescope has an aperture diameter of 500 meters. It is located in the mountainous area of Gizhou province in southwest China. Its chosen location away from urban light sources avoids interference, which is important for accurate astronomical observations. The power of this telescope and its technological capabilities opened up new horizons for astronomical research. The Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge is one of the most impressive engineering structures in the world, part of China's high-speed rail network. This bridge stretches for 165 kilometers and connects the cities of Danyang and Kunshan in eastern China. The bridge has a variety of heights and designs in different sections, which ensures its ability to overcome various landscape features and obstacles. It includes various types of structures, such as arched and girder bridges. The Jiaozhu Bay Bridge transects Jiaozhu Bay, which reduces the road distance between Likang District and Huangdao District in Qingdao by 30 kilometers. The bridge has a total length of about 43 kilometers, of which approximately 26 kilometers is the sea part of the bridge. This length makes it one of the largest sea bridges in the world. Advanced engineering technologies and methods were used in the design and construction, this made it possible to create a structure capable of withstanding sea conditions. The Wuhan Yangtze Bridge is an important component of China's urban and national infrastructure. It not only provides a convenient connection between different areas, but also serves as a symbol of a country striving to develop modern and innovative solutions in the field of infrastructure and transport. The bridge has a total length of more than 5.5 half kilometers. It includes both road and railway parts. Thus, it is an important structure for both road and rail support.
The Beiping Zhang Bridge is an impressive engineering structure located in China, located above the gorge of the Beiping Jing River. This bridge is considered one of the highest bridges in the world. Its height exceeds 565 meters. Beiping Zhang is a suspension bridge with a large span. It is created using advanced engineering techniques and technologies to ensure its reliability. The Beiping Zhang Bridge is a symbol of China's high level of engineering and technical skills. The Sidu Bridge is one of the tallest bridges in the world. It rises to a height of more than 900 meters above the bottom of the gorge, which makes it an impressive structure towering over the cliffs. During the construction of the bridge, Sidu faced a number of technical difficulties related to its height, wind loads, and other terrain features. Engineers and builders have successfully overcome all these difficulties. Today, this bridge plays an important role in providing communication between different districts and regions. The Runyang Yangtze Bridge includes several different bridges, including suspension bridges and bridges with spans of different sizes. This is a multi-level structure that provides communication for both road and rail traffic. The bridge network has a total length of more than 35 kilometers. During the construction of the bridge, high-strength materials were used, as well as innovative security and monitoring systems. The bridge contributes to the development of the economy, facilitates the movement of transport, and improves the accessibility of the region. The Pingtang Bridge is located in the mountainous province of Gizhou in southwest China. Its length is 2,135 meters and its height is 332 meters. These dimensions allow us to call it the world's tallest reinforced concrete bridge. The bridge stands on three pillars, and its entire structure resembles a faceted diamond in shape, which is why in China, the Pingtang Bridge is called the Diamond. The Hangzhou Bay Bridge is an outstanding engineering structure in China connecting the cities of Hangzhou and Shaoxing on the coast of the East China Sea. Its length is about 36 kilometers. It is a combined bridge that includes various segments such as suspension bridges, railway bridges, and road platforms. This combination of different types of bridges makes it possible to ensure the efficient use of the bridge for different types of transport. China is committed to using advanced technology to improve infrastructure, ensure road safety, and reduce the negative impact on the environment. Artificial intelligence is used to optimize planning, routing, and traffic management. Drones are used to inspect roadworks, monitor the condition of roads, and assess the need for repairs. Sensor technologies allow you to monitor the condition of the roads in real time. Thanks to all these technologies, many incredible bridges and roads have been built in China. And our episode has come to an end, and we hope that you enjoyed watching this video. We look forward to your questions and comments. Thank you for always being with us.